there's long haul and there's long haul and this is the longest long haul journey travel day that we have ever done as a couple join us as we start our asian adventure 14 hour flights one and a half hour wait overs a following three and a half hour flight a 45 minute trip to the hotel see what state we're in when we get there been a four hour drive and we've finally arrived at London Heathrow Airport, Longstay Car Park, Terminal 2 and 3. In the process we've actually dropped the dog off at his holiday home and we're now making our way to Terminal 2 using the provided shuttle bus where the plan is that we stay at a hotel which is local to Terminal 2 overnight avoiding the need for taxis. We're at the Hilton Garden Hotel in Terminals 2 and 3 and it's freezing cold so let's get in quick, come on. usual we had to go back to the car but for once it wasn't me that left the ticket in there no I don't need a checklist hello everybody I'm getting a google now we're off on our adventures again and we're at the Hilton Garden Inn hotel in Heathrow Airport terminal two and three this hotel is actually in the center of Heathrow Airport now normally we stay in a premier inn but our flight on Singapore Airlines takes off tomorrow at 10 past nine in the morning. So we thought we'll pay the bit extra and it is a lot of extra. It costs 290 pounds for this um, room. Um, so we're gonna make sure that we, we use all the facilities that are here, but that's why we've done it. So we're in the right place. We just, we literally just have to go downstairs and we're there kind of thing. Um, so that's why we've done that. Gonna give you a quick, um, oh, I'll tell you where we're going first, I really should. Um, so we're going to Hong Kong and then we're gonna spend four nights in Hong Kong and then we're gonna get a cruise on Celebrity Saltis um, for 12 nights, um, going to Vietnam and um, Thailand. Ending up in Singapore where we'll stay another four nights and then we fly home. So quite a long trip and we'll take you along on the way. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. So, you know, you come in the front door here nice big door and you've got um, a button here that does all the lights and bathroom and the whole bit hall here. Full length mirror here. Do excuse all our baggage which is here. Now this is a family room. I don't know why we got a family room actually but anyway that's a, a um, inter, what do you call it? Interconnecting, interconnecting room. room. So if there was a lot of you you could obviously have that as well. Then over here, got an ironing board and iron and place to hang your clothes and whatnot. And there's a, a hairdryer up there. Then great big bed, actually. I think it's a six foot bed. So that'd be great. And um, you've got your um, US, oh, I can never remember what it's called. USB. USB, oh, it started with it. USB point there and lights. And then over on the other side, 
is a safe and I think you could get a small laptop in there yeah oh definitely it goes it goes right back actually right back so um also another USB and light so yeah I mean that's that's quite a good decent safe that actually and then sofa the sofa pulls out to a great big double bed quite a big chunky one that one um we sort of look out over the airport uh I don't know what I'm looking out at actually something that's airside that in there so I don't know um anyway we're on the road by terminal two I think and a lovely big air gap in this window you can't hear a thing no actually you can feel the vibration a bit when uh planes land I guess or are going along the the um runway fridge not that we'll use it because we're just staying here for the one night and there's coffee and tea making um stuff here all sorts there tea and god knows what oh, i don't drink any hot drinks i just drink like water really cold drinks i hate those little milk things anyway they all have them don't they and table chair and that's all the room really and that telly that's so oh enormous. i forgot about the telly how could i forget about it? it's so big <laughs> ginormous telly i don't know what size that is um we'll put that on soon see what's on uh yeah so um come into the bathroom nice bathroom so you've got your sink crab tree body lotion hand wash um shaving point toilet got a lovely shower come and see the shower steve so um it's an anti-slip um floor which is great handle to hold on to and then you've got your um, conditioner, shampoo and shower gel in there. So that's great. Very nice. What more can you say? Lovely. Um, nearly didn't make this holiday because about, I think it's actually about eight weeks ago now, I fell over in our bathroom and um, as I've got two replacement knees, <clears throat> I really banged awkwardly. Ooh, wasn't nice. My left knee bruises everywhere oh and I hurt my toes on the right hand side ended up in A&E &E anyway and um I had but to it's just more precautionary though wasn't it the A&E &E? yeah I was just frightened if I hadn't got a replacement knee I wouldn't have been so worried but um because I've got replacement knees I was frightened I'd done something to the um replacement knee bit but I hadn't and it was all right so I had to put my um I had to let my husband wait on me for about six weeks um but I'm fine now so there you go um, but that was a bit, oh God, you know, what have I done? But uh, it's okay. Anyway, so this is the bathroom. And um, anyway, we'll take you along on our holiday and uh, see what we get up to. God knows. <laughs> Where are we? The Hilton Garden. Inn. Terminal two and three. Runway bar. bar. Runway bar which has a lovely view overlooking the runway. So on the menu tonight we've got dim sum, there's a platter, we've got a burger, teriyaki salmon and chicken wings. I think I'll probably end up going for the burger. What are you going for? Dim sum. Okay, and Joanne's going for the dim sum. The burger wasn't too bad. It wasn't the best burger and it wasn't the worst burger that I've ever had, but it was, it was okay. It was quite reasonable. And Joanne quite liked the dim sum. I don't think she quite appreciated the amount of Chinese food she was going to have over the following weeks.
gate's not shown until 8 o'clock. And that's the boarding? Yeah. So it should be. He calls me trouble. So we just had security run after us after uh, we went through security because he had his camera out and everybody thought he was filming the security. So if you ever go through any security, don't have your camera out. He wasn't, he was filming me. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him, really. I don't. <sighs> Decided to get a bite to eat. Uh, we're getting something on the plane, but you never quite know what plane food's like. So we're at the Wonder Tree and looking to see what uh, we can have. What are you going for, Joanne? I'm going for the Little English, which is a, a full English, but it's smaller portions, and um, in a water. And I will also go for the Little English, but I will have a cappuccino. Let's see what the grub's like. to eat it. <laughs> Hash browns. Ooh. What's it like? Lovely. Very nice. Lovely. So we booked this holiday probably about a year ago and did a massive amount of research online to make sure that we understood which was the holiday that suited our requirements and which was the one that we would find most interesting. And we are going out with Air Singapore. And the reason for that was uh, I've flown this route or parts of this route with British Airways previously and they always used an old aircraft. So we decided that we would use Air Singapore and we'd heard some very good things about their food. So. The trip that we're going on, it, we fly into Hong Kong today, uh, arriving tomorrow morning via Singapore with a stop off in Singapore itself. And then we spend uh, four or five days in Hong Kong before we then actually start taking our cruise, which does Vietnam and Thailand. It's an absolutely fantastic day today. You can see the sun rising behind me and it gives a lovely atmosphere to this tomb, absolutely fantastic. So, let's talk a little bit more about this trip. Both Joanne and I chose particular trips that we were interested in doing and we were interested in doing them for different reasons. My choice was to go to this Asia cruise and that's because I love the Asian culture and I also love the sorts of landscapes that you see over there. I grew up very much uh, looking at programs around Vietnam and Thailand, and I've always wanted to see there. Um, I have been to Japan on several occasions. I absolutely love Japan, and I love a modern city of the likes of Hong Kong and Singapore. So this, this trip will combine all of those and make it really special. So the last probably eight, nine weeks, we've done extensive research on YouTube, looking at from both Hong Kong and Singapore, what places there are to be visited and where we ought to go. And we've loaded those onto both Google Maps and Apple Maps, and then downloaded them to our phones so that we have a record of where where the places are that we want to visit. Where we'll actually visit uh, very much depends on what we find at the day. So each day we will decide what we're going to do and then flag that route up within Apple Maps and use Apple Maps to effectively direct where we go. Uh, let's see if it works. So we've just seen in the Singapore Airlines app that our baggage apparently has made it onto the planes but using my air tags it looks as if it's actually made it to the bit before the planes 
and you can see quite clearly all the baggage in a holding hangar um, but I suppose it's near enough. Uh, the uh, air tags are superb actually just for keeping an eye on what you've got, where it is and giving you a little bit of peace of mind. Uh, we fly out of gate B38 and we have to go to the gate in about an hour's time. It's now seven o'clock. There was something about coming to an airport to go on holiday where you've got a great deal of apprehension or nobody likes flying and you've also got a great deal of excitement about the holiday that you're about to take and for me um, I love an airport I love seeing the hustle and bustle um, love just taking in and watching the people So the sun is really, really bright. Hun? Let's go and have a quick look. Well, Joanne's made it into a store that sells makeup. It's about time to disappear, I think. And guess what? She's found her favourite makeup already. Clinique. So we've just had the call to go to gate B38 and we're on our route there now. See, this is the only way that we can get the two of us in. And that's to have me down here and Joanne up there. So we're on the way to the gates and uh, looking forward, apprehensive about the flight as we normally are, looking forward to the food and uh, seeing what it's like on board a different company and a different type of plane. <laughs> on their way. She didn't buy any makeup by the way, uh, which is good. Yeah, but it's good, it saves some money. Okay. It's a long trip, isn't it, on this it escalator? We haven't even got, got to the plane yet. <laughs> it's a hell of a way, isn't it?
behalf of Singapore Airlines, we hope you have a great time on board as well as in Singapore or anywhere else in the world we take you. So this is the space. We have a fairly large screen in front of us. So I have quite a bit of leg room here. So here I've got a foot vest and quite a lot of space. Got these headphones and they have some protective covers to stop you from catching anything from anyone else that's previously used the headphones. Noise cancelling and very good quality, I may say. Back at the seat, there is a USB charger and what looks like the headphone jack, together with a reading light. Some handy storage for various pieces. It's quite useful for keeping your mobile phone in. And behind here, there's some other storage which will fit a water bottle. We've got drink rest here, and here we have a seat based tray and controls in the uh, arm. Lots of space down there, together with a footrest to rest on. It looks really good. It looks quite comfortable. The seats are quite wide. Um, nice accents of orange around the place and a very large screen up here. Large screen TV uh, with quite a good set of material to look at. Um, basically, you can browse either by movies or by TV or by music. Um, it's a good selection of the movies of both current uh, new releases plus a whole load of favorites, everything from Star Wars to Harry Potter. The seat on this uh, aircraft is really, really comfortable. Nice, nice cabin space, uh, quite small, quite select. Uh, here we are in the Freedom Economy. What do you think of the space? Special order from the Shed, which is one of the facilities of Singapore Airlines. Uh, looking forward to seeing what it tasted like. What have you got there? Um, pancakes, I think it is, and um, something on the top. Pancake. Oh, pan oh, I don't know. Pancakes or something. Uh, hang on, tell you. Scrambled egg and pancakes. So this is the mushroom crepe. Looks rather nice, and the croissant is really hot as well. Orange juice, and obviously some uh, fruit as well. So let's see what this is tasting like. Well, we'll finish that lot off, and it was lovely, particularly that yogurt oat cream and mango crisp. But the mushrooms crepes are really nice. You can really taste the mushrooms. Absolutely superb. One of the, probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had on an aircraft. It's very good, actually. It's very hot, very tasty. So supper has now turned up and it smells absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to start with the starter and see how we go. So I've got um, smoked salmon and now I'm having a, a hot sort of, um, I forgot what I've ordered, but it's a chicken, chicken dish that's very nice. I think your hands are in Oh, that's better. Got me filling with my, with my roll. So I've chosen the seafood curry. Which looks as if it's got pools. It smells absolutely delicious and we'll tell you what it's like afterwards. So for starter, that was a really tasty piece of smoked salmon. Really enjoyable. And the dessert is a chocolate and salted caramel pot, which looks really nice. That um, main meal was absolutely gorgeous by the way. Really tangy. Absolutely flavorful. Really nice. And that meal was absolutely gorgeous. So the uh, caramel and salted, sorry, the chocolate and salted caramel pot was lovely. A bit sweet, but a nice crusty uh, bottom to it. And then I had 
a set of crackers and cheese and a very nice murder and anyone who's been on this uh, channel for any period will know that we like a murder well at least I like a murder very nice lovely And we've made it on to the next flight. Uh, three and a half hours this flight. And I think we're both very tired.
well, we were both well and truly knackered when we actually got to the hotel. So much so that we actually went to bed for a couple of hours and you will see what happened later in the day in the next vlog. Join us.